Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a passion of mine, which is all things skincare. Now, why is that, do you say? Well, I just think that when you're feeling comfortable in your skin, whether that's sort of irritability from shaving, whether you're going through some sort of some dryness, whether you've got breakouts, whether your skin's a little bit oily, whatever you're going through, your skin is a living, breathing organ. Um, and I just find that in society we are so used to hearing about men and women talking about perfection in terms of skin and not having a blemish or a mark or anything like that at all but all of those things make us who we are as individuals so I have a huge passion for skincare but making it all about you. So for example, if you've got a certain type of skin which you really, really struggle with, finding the right products which make you feel comfortable, which make you feel on top of the world, and which make you, makes your skin just feel great for you. It's never ever just a one case scenario for absolutely everybody because everybody is different and therefore everybody's skincare needs are very, very different. Now, let's get to what we're talking about today. So we are talking about the Wilkinson's Sword uh, Barber's Style. And we're looking at the face wash and moisturizer. So I haven't got a shaving cream. I'm going to explain why in just a moment. So the face wash and the face moisturizer. So it's relatively new. It's only been out for a couple of months. Um, price wise, now a lot of my subscribers will know that I buy a lot of my products, which I look at on my channel here online, but predominantly in boots here on the high street here in the UK. Now I initially bought this. I bought this several times. I think I bought the moisturizer twice. The uh, the, the wash I've bought hmm, probably about four or five times actually, but only once actually in boots because they are £10 each. But however, on Amazon, I checked this morning. Okay, so please don't quote me on this. But on Amazon, the face wash, I can't even say that, the face, face wash was Two fifty, okay. Uh, so that's pounds here in the UK, and the moisturiser was three fifty. So what a contrast in terms of uh, from boots on the high street, ten pounds. So do shop around for these. Okay, so let's talk about them. So a face wash. There we go. I could say it this time. So for me, a face wash. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling with that. Needs to deliver on so many fronts. Okay, I want something which is going to awaken my skin, which is going to give me energy in my skin, but I want it to be soft, nourishing and to look after my skin. I don't want it to leave me feeling sort of a tight feeling afterwards because I am not very good at shaving. In fact, I am probably one of the worst people to give any advice about shaving. However, in terms of looking after your skin, I am, I will put my hands up, quite good with that. But in terms of shaving, I always, I've tried lots of different sensitive products. I've tried uh, sensitive razors, one thing or another. Um, but that I find that I get on best with a face wash, <laughs> which I can uh, lather and has a bit of a rich lather, but not overbearing, doesn't make my face uncomfortable or sort of break out in a rash or anything like that at all. And I shave with it. So I shave with this. Okay. And if anybody wants to know what my top, top favorite is, it's this one. And my ultimate favorite is the Nivea Men's Sensitive Face Wash. Why can't I say that? Wash. Um, so yeah, really, really great. And I just find that nourishes your skin. So it has such a high standard. And this does meet it. It really, really does. It's got no fragrance. Okay, so it's really nice. Um, I'd say there's a little bit of a natural sort of fragrance about it, but it's a clean smell. It's nice. It's very, very pleasant to use. Um, it really does cleanse your face very, very nice. It awakens your face. It gives you energy and it just makes you feel really kind of healthy, uh, makes your skin look, sorry, really, really healthy and a real kind of awakeningness about it. So I'm very often, I wake up for around about five in the morning. So um, then I start work around about six so I'm in meetings sometimes and uh, straight off first thing in the morning around about seven eight so I want my skin to look awakened and fresh um, I don't sleep particularly very well at times through how things and one thing or another in the background I'm a notoriously stressful person um, so sometimes I can only literally get the very very minimal sleep so I get a lot of darkness around here at times and sometimes my skin can just be uncomfortable do you know I think we all go through days where it can just be uncomfortable whether that be how we're feeling inside, whether that can be you've tried a new product. Um, yeah, so a whole host of reasons. So this face wash, why I, <laughs> I think I think I'm thinking about it. I think I'm thinking about it more. Um, but yeah, it really does look after your skin. It really does uh, just give you a real nice freshness. Um, and it's it's really, really pleasant to use. So it's the Wilkinson Sword Barber's Style Face Care Face 
wash, okay? Outrageously clean and fresh. High performance clear gel. So it is a gel texture, but it's not uncomfortable. And you know what? This you can shave with very, very nicely. And I really like this. So warm water, cleanse your face, and then take, I always wash my face with it first of all, and then I use a little bit extra afterwards when I've just used some warm water and sort of it softened everything up. Uh, around under my neck and sort of when you're shaving. So this is really, really great for that. It doesn't leave no rash or sort of those horrible sort of uncomfortable sort of like bumpy sort of rashes. I like to shave quite close. That's probably the problem. And I shave it every day. Um, but this really is sensitive enough even though it's not sold as a sensitive product, I would hope that would be the same for everybody. But this is a very nice face product. <laughs> Okay, your face deserves the best every day. Our unique clear face wash allows you to clean your face for smooth, gentle skin. Our formula is unscented. How to enjoy a great face care every day because less is more. Place a quarter sized amount into wet palms, lava, and apply on face and wash. Rinse clean. Avoid contact with eyes. Okay, so in here, let's just have a look at some of the ingredients. Um, so we have got some natural ingredients in here. So we've got lavender extract in here. We have got a few natural oils in here. We've got lavender oil in here. We've got... I can't sort of... There's a, a couple which I couldn't really tell you, sort of like sciencey names, but it doesn't... It doesn't sort of... Um, worry me at all when I see that. I know sometimes when we look at shampoo and you think, oh my goodness, those long words, what on earth do they do to my scalp? But in here, um, and I have really sensitive skin underneath here, this doesn't affect me at all. It doesn't give me any irritability. It doesn't give me a rash or anything like that at all. Um, it's very nice. It soothes the skin. It calms things down. Um, and I really, really like it. So for a face wash, okay, this is a really fantastic one. And for just £2.40 on Amazon, fantastic buy. And I absolutely love this. And as I say, I've bought it lots already. And what I usually tend to do is if my Nivea for Men sensitive face uh, wash has gone up expensive, then I leave that alone until it's next on offer and then I go to this one. And it's working for me great. And I alternate between them. Um, and I really, really love that. So great one. So absolutely for men's skin, really, really recommend that. And you're probably not meant to, but I use it for shaving and I have no problems. So for a multi sort of face uh, wash sort of shaving product, if you're like me on that aspect, then this is great for you. Okay. Next in the range, they have got a face moisturizer. Okay, so again, very, very different because you've got the applicator on the top here, okay? Um, now, it's a outrageously smooth face, fast absorbing lotion, and you've got the sort of pump action here on the top and you can use however much you want. Two pumps is enough. Um, it's not a rich moisturizer, I will say that. It's, sometimes I feel that the nourishment isn't quite there, but then it doesn't leave your your uh, face greasy. It doesn't leave it like that you've got quite a heavy moisturizing product on, which of course is the last thing I know a lot of men uh, want. Uh, for me, I want something which is going to soothe my skin after shaving. Um, I don't use this at night just because it's not really a product which I like to... F I think in the daytime, I don't like to feel a product. At night, I like to feel a product kind of working, calming my skin down, boosting energy in my skin, kind of reducing darkness, that type of thing. Um, this is great, but it's it's ultra light, but yet I've used other ultra light moisturizers, um, probably gel formations actually, and they have given me much more of a hydration. Whereas this doesn't quite, if my skin for whatever reason is a little bit tight or a little bit uncomfortable and I've used this, yes, if I use a couple of pumps of it through my palms and all over my face um, and the neck area after shaving, it's great. But I do find after a little while, it sort of disappears and then the dryness comes back. So I'm not 100% sure on it. I have bought it, as I say, um, I, think, I think this is my second one, which I bought. I don't think this is my third. I think this is my second one. Um, but I really like it. I always keep it sort of my go-to products first thing in the morning. And um, so we're from deodorant, sort of face wash and whatever. Um, and I do use this, so it's really, really nice. So I'll just show you. So literally, that's enough. I know that looks a lot, but I have incredibly dry hands. So what I do is I take it through all over my face. It's got no smell. It goes into the skin pretty quickly. Now you'll note that my skin is going red. Now that is because I'm touching my skin. My face does this, it goes red, and then it dies down pretty quickly. So all around sort of the eye area, it's, it's soothing. It's 
again, it's not as nourishing as what I would like, particularly if um, if you have really ultra dry skin. So what I always just tend to do anyway, through whatever moisturizer, a real test, whether it's greasy and whether I can go on and touch things afterwards, is any sort of remaining product, that's why I always use a little bit more, I rub through my hands. I don't know if you can see, I've got quite this, I mean, we're in June and um, I've got quite sore dry hands here. So it's like, as you can see, any sort of product, then I just take the, the sort of remaining of it and take it through my hands. It is dry. I wouldn't say it's the most driest product I've ever used, but it's certainly not greasy. Um, and it's certainly not where you can't go and pick something up, for example. Um, it is, I like the packaging as well. It's really sleek packaging all throughout the range. There are shaving products. Um, I did have a look when I looked at the prices before I done this clip. And I do note now that there is a razor on there as well. So that may well be something I'll try in the future. I am not a person who reviews uh, shaving products just because I'm absolutely appalling at shaving. And the last thing I want to do is, is do a shaving clip and then I cut myself or something like that because that happens very often. Um, but these two, as I say, face uh, wash, I absolutely love and I will continue to use this and I wholeheartedly recommend this one. Moisturiser, it's just a nice to have. It's really nice. For example, if you've been out um, and for example, if your skin looks a little bit dry or sort of around your eyes or sort of I get a little bit of eczema across the, the sort of the lower part of my jaw, um, then this it's really, really great. It's soothing, it's unfragrant, so it's really quite pleasant to use. But again, I've just put that on and it's almost like, um, just not quite hydrating enough for me. Um, but it is a great product and it is something which I would continue. I think after I, I run out of this, I would certainly buy it again, especially on Amazon for £3.50. If it was £10 when this is originally sold in Boots, um, no, I wouldn't. I'm, I remember a couple of weeks back when I went to buy this in the high street, £10. No, absolutely not. So, um, I mean, regardless of that, I would pay that for certain products, but always, always shop around because, I mean, that is quite a significant saving. It really, really is. Uh, so I buy this on Amazon now um, and yeah, really great. And as I say, I would absolutely recommend the range. Um, let's tell you a little bit more about, because I don't think we went into it in too much depth on the moisturiser here. So your face deserves the best. Our unique face moisturiser helps to keep your skin smooth and visibly hydrated. Our concentrated formula is crafted with niacinamide, apple extract and centella astica forgive me if that's not pronounced right, to help the skin feel hydrated, non-scented. How to ensure a great face care? Apply daily to face. So I know a lot of people will think apply once a day should be enough. And it says here for up to 50 days of healthy looking skin. Um, again, everybody's going to have a different experience. For me, not as hydrating as what I've read here, but it is great. It really is great. And especially after shaving, it's quite nice. Um, I suppose not my favourite, but I absolutely recommend it. So it's certainly worth a try. And as I say, for three pounds, just over three pounds, I think three pounds 40, when I looked on Amazon uh, here in the UK this morning, really great cost. I mean, for other moisturizers in terms of that cost, it's it's just a no brainer. It's absolutely really, really great to try. So wholeheartedly recommend these, lovely brand. Um, yeah, really, really great experience. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, something a little bit different for that passion of skincare. And of course, because if you're feeling great with the skin you've got, um, whether that be whatever you're going through, your skin just shows whatever. If it's ill health, whether you're completely stressed, I don't know about you, but then sometimes I've been raring to go about whatever I'm doing on the day. And then I look in the mirror and I think, oh, you didn't sleep quite well, Bradley, did you? So I like a product which can really just boost that vitality in your skin, boost that hydration, um, and just, yeah, give you a little bit more of a healthier sort of flair about your skin. Okay, so I really hope that you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. Thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, I wholeheartedly recommend these, especially the face wash. I'm sorry I struggled a little bit there. Unfortunately, I've been having a few problems health-wise in the background. Um, and just to let you into a little bit of an insight, I've had a few problems with uh, getting a little bit tongue-tied, so I'm a little bit conscious of that. Uh, so apologies, thank you for bearing with me, and yeah, I gave a little bit more of a snippet of information I didn't plan to there, but you know what, it's, we are all individuals, we're all different, and you know, there's only one of us in this world, and that's what makes us amazing, my friends. So on that note, God bless, and embrace what the good Lord gave you, and until next time, I will look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.